In this video, we'll discuss how to create a launch screen for your application. You want your application to have the perception of being quick to launch and instantly ready for use. Apple suggests to aim for a total app launch time of under 400 milliseconds, and you must do it in less than 20 seconds or the system will kill your app. While your app is loading, you want something to appear to the user, and this could probably be done with something automatically, like a spinning wheel. However, that would give the perception that your app is very slow, and this is where launch screens come in. So what is a launch screen? A launch screen is a single page that is shown while an application is launching. Apple requires that all apps published in the App Store include a static launch screen because it lets the user know that the app has started. There are two ways to create a launch screen. We can do it using a storyboard, or we can do it using a static image. So a static image may seem like a good idea at first. However, they can be very problematic as you would have to provide an image for all devices and orientations. And as you can see here, that is no small task. Storyboard launch screens, on the other hand, can use auto layout to create a UI that is responsive to different screen sizes and form factors. And this is the approach that Apple recommends and the one that we'll be using in this course. Keep in mind that the launch screen is simply displayed to let a user know that the app is loading. No code can execute on a launch screen. It has to be completely static. So you want to make sure that when you design your launch screen that you use static views which don't require any sort of code behind. Apple has some guidelines and recommendations for how to design your launch screen. So let's take a look at a few of those now. You may have noticed that when you've opened apps such as Facebook, that the screen will look like a newsfeed with no content in it. And if you haven't noticed, you will now. And that's because they're following the guidelines set by Apple, which recommend that you make your launch screen look very similar to the first page of your app. This provides a seamless transition when the first page loads. Apple also recommends that you avoid text if possible. The launch screen won't be visible for long, and you don't want your customers becoming frustrated when they're unable to read all the text on the screen. Also, remember that your launch screen is static, which means there is no localization for your text. And last, Apple recommends that we downplay the launch. The launch screen is only there to let your user know that the app is on and loading. It won't be on the screen for a long time, and it's not a good place for marketing messages or a lot of pizzazz. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio, and I want to show you how to create your launch screen using a storyboard. Um, if you're in Visual Studio for Mac, you'll see here that the launch screen storyboard is actually included in the template. In Visual Studio for Windows, you'll have to add a new storyboard, and typically we name it launch screen. So I'm going to open the storyboard up, and here it is. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a dark background. And then I'm going to place an image view right in the center. All right, and now I have an image loaded. I'm going to use my Minutes app logo. And there I have a very simple layout. Um, it's perfect for a launch screen. It's only going to be displayed for a moment. There's no text on the screen, so I don't have to worry about people who don't speak my language trying to read something on my launch screen. There's no pizzazz. It's just nice and simple. However, at the currently it does not work in landscape mode, but that's the beauty of the storyboard. So I'm going to go into constraint editing mode. And I'm going to select my view. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to constrain the size. I don't want this to get bigger or smaller, so I'm going to just constrain the height and constrain the width. Um, and now I'm going to send. I'm going to constrain it from the center on the vertical, and now on the horizontal. And now we can see it's blue, so I have a fully constrained view. I'm going to test it in landscape, and it works perfectly. So now I want to make sure that iOS can find my launch screen. And the way we do that is we go into the info.plist. And under the app icons, you'll see launch images. And you can choose your launch screen. I have two storyboards in my solution. 
So it's giving me the choice of either, obviously I'm gonna choose launch screen. All right, so now that we know that iOS knows where the launch screen is and our launch screen is ready to go, let's test it. So I'm gonna check it out in the, or the landscape orientation first. And our light bulb shows up beautifully. Okay, and now let's run it again in portrait mode. Perfect. So now you can see the beauty of using the storyboard. You can create your launch screen at the same way you would doing any other layout um, and to make use of all of these awesome features like the constraints to make your one storyboard work for all devices and orientations.